Reports are stating that Spurs are confident that they will sign Richarlison for £60 million as Everton need the money. Leeds are now interested in midfielder Harry Winks. Uh, Eve Basuma has just been cleared of sexual assault allegations. Eric Dyer speaks out about his performances and helping the young players. And Atletico Madrid want to sign Emerson Royale on a season-long loan. Spurs are not keen. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Let's start by talking about Tottenham Hotspur target Richarlison. Now for Brizio Romano, the Italian journalist and transfer expert has just provided the following. Tottenham have already scheduled new round of talks for Richarlison. Work in progress with Everton, but deal structure has to be discussed again. No issues on personal terms. Spurs are also working to sign a new right back. Also on the possible Richarlison deal, the Daily Express have just released the following. Tottenham are confident of signing Richarlison as Everton are under pressure to sell the £60 million ace. Tottenham have made Everton star Richarlison one of their top transfer targets. In the report, it says that Spurs are confident that they will pull off the signing of Richarlison this summer from Everton. That is despite late pressure arriving as Antonio Conte continues splashing the cash in the transfer window. Tottenham are closing in on the signing of Richarlison for £60 million, with Everton under pressure to sell the forward this summer. The Toffees have major financial problems and need to offload players to balance the books. It means there could be a few exits under Frank Lampard's watch over the next couple of months, but it is hoped that they can keep the number of departures to a minimum. However, it has allowed Premier League rivals to come and take a closer look at their wares. That includes Richarlison, who is being valued at £60 million, and there has been heavy speculation over a move away this summer. The likes of Chelsea and Arsenal have been interested in the past, while Barcelona have also been linked. Everton recorded a loss of nearly £121 million last season and that means it is now three years in a row where they have exceeded losses totalling over £100 million. As a result, they may not be able to comply with the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. And according to a report from the Evening Standard, that has given Tottenham a huge boost in their chase to sign Richarlison this summer. The Brazil international is the top target of Antonio Conte as he looks to spruce up his attack. The likes of Lucas Moura and Steven Bergwijn are expected to depart and Antonio Conte wants to partner Harry Kane and Hummin Son up front with another big talent. Spurs are confident that they will pull off a £60 million deal to wrap up a move for Richarlison. A report has just been published by the Liverpool Echo and they are stating that Harry Winks is wanted by Leeds United as Everton and Tottenham talks continue. Leeds United have joined the race for Harry Winks' signature after Everton held talks with Tottenham over a deal for the midfielder. It states that Leeds United have become the latest club to express an interest in signing Harry Winks this summer after Everton held talks with Spurs over a deal for the midfielder. Those talks came after Frank Lampard identified Harry Winks as someone who could bolster his midfield options heading into the new season. However, as reported by the Liverpool Echo yesterday, um, Everton and Tottenham want two different things in terms of the transfer. It then goes on to say that Everton are keen on a loan move for the 26-year-old, whereas Tottenham Hotspur chairman Daniel Levy is hoping to secure a £20 million fee for the midfielder this summer. It then states that Harry Winks' uh, current Tottenham valuation could well drop the longer the transfer window is open. The 26-year-old still has two years remaining on his Spurs contract, but is surplus to requirements at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But as well as being wanted by Everton and attracting interest from three other Premier League clubs, Leeds United have now entered the race for the midfielder. 
Now, lots of reports have been published about this story today. This one is from the Metro newspaper, and they are stating that Tottenham summer signing Ipa Suma has been cleared of sexual assault allegations after an arrest was made on the 6th of October last year. Basuma and a man in his 40s were arrested after police were called to a Brighton nightclub last October. The midfielder was released on bow and continued to play for Brighton Hove Albion and went to the Africa Cup of Nations to represent Mali. Now police have confirmed that no further action will be taken against the 25-year-old, although the other man remains on bow. A Sussex police spokesperson told the Daily Mail um, a man in his 40s from Brighton who was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault has had his conditional bow extended until the 4th of July 2022. A man in his 20s also from Brighton who was arrested on suspicion of sexual assault has been released with no further action to be taken. The investigation is ongoing and no additional information is available at this time. Tottenham Hotspur centre-back Eric Dyer has been talking about last season and his consistency and his own performances and said, I was pleased with last season. It's always difficult to judge yourself. It's better for others to do that for you. But I feel like I maintained a good level of consistency over the course of the season. I was happy with my performances and I'm excited for more. I've been really enjoying learning this system under this manager. I think everybody knows he is the master of this system. So it's been a real education for me and one I've really liked. I think there's so much for him still to teach me as well. You can never foresee the way things are going to go in football. But going back to those early days I had here, it's something that I had spoke a lot about. We always saw that I would eventually be transitioned into playing in defence, a back three or a back four. Nowadays, of course, I'm happy to be playing there. Uh, getting better and better, as I said, and I think I still have a lot of room before I hit my ceiling. Eric Dyer then went on to say, to be here eight years now is something I'm very proud of. I've really enjoyed my time here so far, and obviously Tottenham holds a special place in my heart, but there's a few of us who have been here for a long time now. Me, Hugo Lloris, Harry Kane, Ben Davis. So in a way, it's a strange feeling to have enjoyed it over such a long period. Obviously, the team has changed a lot in that time, lots of new players, but it's always enjoyable to play with new players as well and to see the young players coming through and to try and help them develop and improve. I think we have a lot of very good young players at the moment and I'm enjoying the responsibility of trying to help them like others did for me in the past. You can give them so much advice because obviously you've gone through the same thing uh, that they are going through. It really doesn't matter if it's on the pitch or off the pitch. You can help them in many different ways. Then obviously the most important thing to do is to carry yourself in the right way in order to set a good example for them to follow. A report has just been published by Sky Sports and they are stating that Spurs are in talks over loan deal for Barcelona centre-back Clement Lengley, but agreement is not yet close. Villarreal's Pau Torres, Inter Milan's Alessandro Bastoni and RB Leipzig's Josco Gavardio are all targets. Atletico Madrid makes season-long loan offer for Emerson Royale. In the report, it says that Spurs are in talks over a loan deal for Barcelona defender Clement Lengley, but he is not the club's only centre-back target this summer. A move to Spurs has been described as Lengley's most likely destination by a source close to the negotiations, if the France international is to leave the new camp this summer. However, an agreement is not yet close, with the 27-year-old not the only centre-back that Spurs are making inquiries about as they look to add a left footer to the back three. Sky Sports then go on to talk about Emerson Royale and have stated that Atletico Madrid have made an offer to sign Emerson on loan. As it stands, Spurs have no intention of allowing Emerson, who joined last summer from Barcelona, for £25.8 million to leave. He then states that Atletico Madrid tried to sign him last summer, but he opted to join Spurs instead, signing a five-year contract. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode. Let's start with the Richarlison one. £60 million. Spurs are confident and Everton need the money. As I've said hundreds and thousands of times on this channel, I'm hoping that this deal gets done. I'm expecting this deal to get done. Everton want it done by the 30th of June, which is tomorrow. Uh, we don't have long whatsoever if Everton want this deal done uh, on the 30th of June. So hoping that one does get over the line. And as I've said hundreds of thousands of times, I really like Richarlison. He can play on the left, he can play on the right, he can play through the middle. Very, very versatile. And I think he is a perfect player uh, for Antonio Conte. Um, you know, that forward line, Harry Kane, Hunmin Son, Richarlison, Dijan Kulishevsky, that is absolutely deadly. Now, Eric Dyer speaking out about his own performances and, of course, Antonio Conte. Um, you know, every single player speaks so highly of Antonio Conte. Um, every single player loves him. Every single fan loves the guy. Um, I call him the magician. I call him the conductor. 
Um, and, you know, every player has got so much respect for him, which is so nice to see. Um, just hoping next season Antonio Conte uh, does a little bit more magic and brings us a trophy. Um, but so nice as well for Eric Dyer to come out and say um, how he's helping a lot of the younger players. And I'm sure as well, you know, players like Eric Dyer who have been at the club for so long, like he mentioned there, Ben Davis and Harry Kane and Hugo, Hugo Lloris, etc. Um, I'm sure that they all want to to win a trophy at the club as well. So hopefully uh, that will come sooner rather than later. The Atletico Madrid won. Um, they want in uh, Emerson Royale on a season-long loan. Now, if they wanted him last season, Spurs signed him. If they want him so badly, um, I, I just, you know, it really bugs me sometimes that so many clubs want players on loan. If you want to sign these players, just put a bid in and, and try and buy the player because I'm sure that Tottenham Hotspur would listen to the offer. Um, obviously, when we sign a, uh, a right-back or a right-wing-back um, I'm sure that they would let Emerson Royale move. But, you know, why alone? If you want to sign the player, just put the bid in. Leeds now interested in Harry Winks. Um, as I've said many, many times on this channel as well, fully expecting Harry Winks to go out the door this summer. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.